Right, so I'm going to demonstrate when you go off grid with this gateway. Obviously this is live, you need to be very careful when you're doing this, but there's really no way of demonstrating it other than having this open. So we start with, you can see we get continuity on these two probes. If I go onto the main earthing bar, pop my probe on there, hold this and pop into here. You can see there is no connection between those two points and there shouldn't be because this is where the neutral earth bond is formed when you go off grid. So the instructions for the side and store kit tell you to put an earth electrode into here, which is fantastic. However, my concern is when you go off grid, these two points don't connect. So I'll demonstrate. If we turn the grid off, contact us strips, relay clicks. So we've now formed our neutral earth bond. So now we have swung over into that off grid state. If we probe onto the earth bar into here, you can see we have now got 100 volts and that's AC. So there is no connection between this and this. So if we have an electrode into here, that's great. Our TNS, when we're islanded, will form. However, if you get a fault in a final circuit to Earth, it's really got nowhere to go. It'll just sit there until someone comes along and touches it and forms that Earth path between them and the mass of Earth. So I don't think that's how these should be set up the way we do it. And you can see here we've got that little fly lead in our earth electrode comes in here. So we pop the earth electrode into the main earthing terminal of the gateway. That provides the backup for us when we are in a connected state with a PME supply. We're supposed to fit these electrodes that help us out with that. And then when we go to off-grid, the um, a neutral earth bond is formed here from the main earthing bar with all the earths connected. And if there is a fault, that is able to track through the system back to the source reference, if you like, on your generator. And equally, you have no potential differences between effectively two earthing systems uh, in your installation because they're still here present in this in this gateway. And obviously, that you need to get past the barriers to get to it, but still, um, that is how I think these should be done. I think really that's set up in a way where if you want, you can fully divorce from the DNO's earthing system. However, if you were to do that, you would need some way of swinging in this um, electrode to all your final circuits as well when you are in an off-grid state. And you can see if we pop the grid feed back on, they don't instantly reconnect. They have this wait time. It lasts a minute or so, so I'm not going to stand here and make you watch it. But in the end, that contactor will swing back in up there and we return to a connected state. But I can pop all this back together and put the front covers on and get back nice and safe. I have had my GS38 probes on here. I have worn some gloves. I've got a face shield on. Um, so I'm happy with my PPE on this one, but it is one of those where really the only way to demonstrate this is to get in amongst the nitty gritty. And I wanted to share it and see what all of you think following along.